Okay, I think now we're probably ready to go to Durlin. Yeah. Oh, do we have to bring this back over? Oh, there's a thing here. Fantastic. Father, I wanted to ask you something about your blade. The ones from your homeland. What of them? Why don't you just throw them away? I see I the way you look at them sometimes. Like you're... I don't know. Like you hate them. Even hateful things have their uses. Besides, I tried. They came back. The air smells a lot cleaner. It's because we shut down the rigs. I think the the chains thing was mentioned in the comics. I The recap I saw talked about how Kratos tried multiple times to throw it away, but it would just end up coming back every time. Like it was some predetermined fate for him to have it. Stuff like that is so scary. Can we create our own fate? Or are we just doomed to reenact a pre-written story? What's this little hole here? There's something... Oh, that's a butterfly. <laughs> I was like, what? It's become used to being chained. That's so sad. If we want to leave here... Gotta go behind us. I hope you, in due time, can learn to um, be free again. Uh, what is it, Mamir? It's nothing, brother. Just, you ever have those moments where you wish you could go back? Rewrite your own past. Make different decisions. Journeying through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, uh, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. Oh, sometimes the stories don't end with a boat. That's good. I love how they call each other brother. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Fair enough. Okay, now... I'll heat up the forge. How do I give you the... Or you're just making the stuff for me, I guess. Finest placard? Should I make it? Yeah, I mean, it's better than what I have right now. Huh? It's a set! Gonna keep it spatter-free this time, right? Kratos? Craftsmanship is unparalleled. Upgradable? Sure. Wear it with pride. So that's chest armor, wrist armor, waist armor. I'm already wearing it. Now I can have the full set. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Is there a bonus for getting a full set? I don't know. Good. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. Oh, it's uh, like a mini goal kind of thing. There's no reward though, it's just stuff to do. Oh, maybe bonus XP. Okay. Atreus. Atreus can't unlock any more new skills right now. Oh, Atreus grabs enemies for longer and enhances powerful strikes caused by Kratos against his grabbed enemy. Maybe not that right now because I don't have that much XP. Skill labor. R2 during Frost Awaken to slash upwards. Frost Awaken. R2 during... Okay, so Frost Awaken is the triangle. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Kratos and Atreus have separate XP. That's right. Okay. Permafrost. Sure. Without getting hit. Oh, uh, I'm not sure if I can hold that off. When I unlock a whole bunch of stuff, I don't even know what to do. There's too much things to learn. <laughs> well, let's settle for that for now. With that, 
Melee. Blades. L1. Evasive embers. Burn. Okay. Vengeful sickle. Locked. Evasive storm. The key presses are probably similar across the weapons. But one does frost, one does fire. Burn. Okay, let's uh, let's see this one. Frozen Ascent. R2 during Frost Awaken. Did not do it. Press R2. I guess that's it. Yeah, like... Is it? It seems like it might not be. Well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Spend some time to figure it out. Okay. Let's set off to Durlin now then. Father, what was Spartan training like? Unforgiving. Is that why you didn't train me like one? Did you not think I could handle it? I did not think you should have had to. Thanks. He wasn't training his son like that, even though Atreus was complaining about training for three years. <laughs> That's not even Spartan. That's just regular. <laughs> Here we go. Hey. This is so brute like. Gotta smash it open every time. We going to Durland's? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rakes. He could be upset. Loving how they have reactive dialogue. In the third mining rig, they talked about the creature that we freed. Which wouldn't happen, I guess, if you didn't free the creature yet. And then now here, they talked about the mining rigs. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. Mm. <laughs> Very safe. Looking for Durlin? You have an appointment? <clears throat> uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think, uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... <sighs> you chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Oh, the axe. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them are. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go.
Take this. What is it? A fine. What? Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Wow. Uh, two demerits for speaking the all father's given name and uh yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine. Pay it at your leisure, okay? You can't say Odin here. Get out of my office. Helpful. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Ooh. Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. What was that? Well, that was helpful. I like your octopus. But that's all I like in this entire place. That head better not be leaking his decay all over my floor. I beg your pardon? Oh, and it talks too. Tina, would you get a load of this? It looks a little familiar too. I've uh, just got one of those faces. Seems to me that's the only thing you've got. I think he will get fined more if he realized who Mimir was. Let's go. Guess we're fighting again. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Oh, maybe he couldn't say anything because people are watching. Ow. Ew. Ew, I'm all gunked up. Above you, brother. Where are ya? Wait. Atreus. Could you get the branch? The branch? <laughs> he won't. I want you to get the... the branch here. Oh, he's ruining my vibes. Ooh! Alright, y'all need to stop vomiting stuff on me. Cause that's not cool. Quit it. How do I make it? <laughs> oh! I wanted Atreus to get the thing in the middle of battle. Okay. As I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him, but it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, dear. Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Thank you, then. On behalf of Faye. <laughs> Durlin. Wait, 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 wait. We got plenty- Oh, I thought we were gonna open this permanently. <gasps> Still plenty to look at around here. Friends? Would he be a friend? Mm, not quite. Not quite. Ormer. No, we read this one. Actually, he's not anywhere. Yeah, where is he? 
He's not here. <laughs> Bestiary? But he just came up, didn't he? Am I crazy? Am I just missing it? What? Oh, well, they're scrolling! How could you tell? You can't tell. Durlin, a minor official of the Dorvan city. Nita Valir. <laughs> I can't say it. At one time, an ally of Faze in an effort to resist Odin. Now he numbs his failures in drink. Yet it appears he has aided us with a map to Tyr's location. Also, his sea creature, Diener, gave Atreus an unusual stone. Probably helpful. He was part of the resistance before, so I'm very glad that he still has that. It spark a fire in him to help us. Maybe not by picking up an axe, but still helping us all the same. In the middle of battle, how do I make Atreus do that? Ah, oh, there were so many environmental things. Thank you. Suppose we can't go back in. What? He doesn't want trouble, does he? Hey man, that map you gave me? I thought I see. Just passing through. <laughs> I see. When am I gonna find a runic attack for my axe? Maybe they want me to use the axe mostly for now? Or did I just like not equip it? I have one, but I didn't equip it. Is that possible? No, undiscovered. I think that was it. There's something across there. Looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. I'm actually not sure what that symbol means. Does it mean main story or what? I'm just wondering because I see like footprints and stuff, but I have no idea what it is. Seems like a nice place to have a battle. We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. Thank you, brother. <coughs> not yet. Something sparkly here. Another one of those thingies that we don't know what to do with. Yeah. Oh, maybe I can't do anything yet then. I can't... Can't go across yet. I think we need more special equipment to use this. Fine! Fine! You want me to do all this backtracking? Can't do it all in one go? Fine, be like that. Okay, let's look up another ability so I eventually get used to having multiple skills here. Perform melee attacks without sustaining damage, that's a passive thing. While evading, hold back for a quick boomerang throw. Useful for when you're retreating. Basically, while you're evading, you can still do a directional thing. I think is what they're getting at here. I'm surprised it fits us. There's a name I don't miss hearing. No one said it until you did, <laughs> just now. Darling, he didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Durlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. 
true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Seems like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. The forge. When the compass turns you know, gold. Maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Oh boy, we're gonna be here a while. Surprisingly, the whole like try to predict where it'll go thing is a lot more annoying than it seems. <laughs> oh look, there's a face on the mountain. Damn, that's creepy. Ooh. Thanks for waiting, son. You were saying Tyr is the god of war here? It's actually kind of interesting because I'm the god of war as well, but from a different realm. What'll happen if we actually meet? Will we fight over that? I don't know. What does that mean? No? Oh. FBF. I think we need some special equipment to use this. Oh, you can hear it glowing, but it's doing... I guess there's something blocking it? I can't really tell. Oh, yeah. It's not as simple as hitting it. I don't think this is working, brother. Maybe we should come back. All right, we will. Hmm? Bomb. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Barry, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. Barry's grenade. Barry the dwarf spent his entire life building the Great Mead Hall, known as Lua. Brick by brick, stone by stone, he built it as wide and as tall as he could, so that the songs and merriment of the dwarves could echo within its walls until the end of time. He was only a few days' work from completing it when the Einhariar arrived. They demanded Lua's use as a temporary barracks. That same night, Barry the Dwarf hurled stone grenades at the cornerstones of his life's work, collapsed the entire bloody thing on top of himself in a matter of hours. Oh, that's... that's depressing. That's how badly he didn't want Odin to benefit from the, his stuff, I guess. Pretty intense, actually. I guess that's it for now. Oh? What's that thing? Crocodile. Whoa! Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep. Definitely dead. What killed it? Hey, I wonder if... Oh! Oh! Hello? Watch out! Oh. oh, I like I try to parry. Oh god! Just calm down. Oh! 
That's what I wanted. <laughs> Whoa. Gotta be careful. Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch out for those puddles. Watching out. Goodness. That one was tough. Stay on your guard. There could be others around. That was tough, but it was one guy, so it was easier to focus on him. Think that Drekius will kill the first one we found. If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. They kill each other? Flames of anguish. Oh, great! For the blades. Yeah. Damn, I feel like I was using the shield to its full potential there, finally. Because we can store up that that energy thing and then like smack him back with a shield fantastic okay blades of chaos flames of anguish right now we can switch between uh the cooldown actually how does the cooldown work does it work by does it count it individually it does right so now we actually do have an incentive to switch weapons every now and then awesome hey where'd the other one go Oh, <laughs> they all disappeared. I completely forgot about Atreus's arrows and that whole thing. Whoops. Thank you, though, son. Nice knifing there. It reminds me back when we first went hunting, back in the first one, and then Atreus cried when he had to um, kill the thing with the knife. Because it was scary. But not anymore. Especially since it's not a cute, fluffy animal. Down there, I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok. To help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. I think we should at least entertain the possibility. The reason why we're training is because we think war is inevitable, isn't it? Even if we're not going to be on the offensive. Even if it's just a react to someone else trying to hurt us. We're clearly doing it for a reason. Is this the way to go? I might have missed the other way back there. Well, how the hell do I get over there? Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, what about the way to the right side? Was there a way? Let me just really quickly... Oh. Oh. Back over here and all that. Yeah. 
feel like there was something... Yeah, it looks pretty big, doesn't it? This area. <laughs> Which is a way to go? What the heck? Ooh. Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. <laughs> that works in that language. Could be a lighthearted jape, or another expression of the dwarves' resentment of Ogren's grip on Svartalfheim. Is progress truly progress if made under an oppressor? I don't know. Either way, we can't go in. Hmm. Actually, this side looks more like the way to go than the other side. Maybe I made a mistake in going back too early. <laughs> Dear Overseer, It is with shame and sadness that I must report I will be unable to meet your requested quota for this season. I am simply unable to forge armor of the quality and quantity you have requested. The fault for this, of course, is mine alone. I very much hope that my awareness of this fact might incline you to show some degree of leniency. As it stands, my output has measurably reduced since the injuries I sustained after previously failing to meet your quota, and I would argue, respectfully as always, that further physical punishment would only further harm my productivity. I eagerly await your response. <sighs> poor dwarves. These poor dwarves. Oh, I feel like we're going up here, right? But what about... I thought we were trying to go down. Yeah. Let me have a look around here first. Just trying to decide which way is the right way to go. But it's a little bit difficult. Oh, this is a dead end. I see a house here, but that's it. Are people still working at the forge here? Kind of like the mining rigs. We can't stop it all, though, can we? Because if it stops, and then Odin gets mad again, that probably wouldn't be very good. Where'd you come from? Different way through the same place? Alright, now we go back. That's where we came from. That way. Yeah. Hmm. Oh god. <laughs> Using a runic attack on these dudes. The wrench keep coming from that pillar. Looks like a mess. What's that thing? Um, that doesn't look appetizing. Here's the ride. Still not too sure what that green thing was, but maybe we'll figure it out later on. This doesn't look very rideable. Looks like we have to get this one back on the tracks. Never mind, it's writable again. <laughs> wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Son, get off. You're making it heavier. My left or your left? Wait, I meant my left. <laughs> Keep going. We're so close. Just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two. Here we go. <laughs> Fun little interaction. I like it. Hmm. The 
Hatchling gave you a stone. Kraken. Oh, uh, Phoenix. Kraken? Yeah, it's covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. War could start right now? What the hell? Eventful. Get up. Oh, father. A troll. Oh, oh, oh. Dowdy Voror Troll. Well, that's one way to get to a destination. Yeah, get the boomerang in there. I thought they were gonna make me fight the troll for a second. Scared me so bad. Hello? You wanna come here? That was crazy. All of it. You said it, little brother. Oh. No kidding. That was a... a troll. Ah, oh, the sweet scent of a troll. Mead and an elk carcass, fermenting in the same barrel in the steamiest of Svartalfheim swamps. At the very least, they're easy to avoid, given their spore and disregard for the art of stealth. But they're gigantic and scary. What was the other one I got? Was it a place name, or I wasn't even sure what that was. I don't know, I'm pretty sure we got another one. Oh well. We'll get to it in due time, maybe. 